Today, I have a patient before me, Mr. Joe John. He presented to me about three weeks back with back pain. He was very much worried about his back pain. Incidentally, he told me that he had undergone pancreatic surgery four years back. Uh, I treated his back pain and he is now pain free. After the pancreatic surgery, he became diabetic. So when you, when one removes the pancreas, one becomes a type 1 diabetic. The first thing which I did was to ask him to apply a flash glucose monitoring device. I, so I asked him to purchase a Freestyle Libre sensor and reader. And he has been utilizing it for the past two weeks now. Today is the 14th day. It is going to expire in about one hour's time. He has bought a new sensor. I will be applying the new sensor. The old sensor is on his left arm and I will be applying the new sensor on his right arm. So watch on. I'm going to show you what are the prerequisites for applying the Freestyle Libre sensor in India. The Freestyle Libre sensor is a flash glucose monitoring device. It can be purchased in pharmacies. It can be used by patients to monitor their glucose. There is another version of the same called Freestyle Libre Pro. This version is also available for purchase in the market, but the patients can't monitor their uh, glucose with this uh, sensor. There is a special reader for that called as the Freestyle Libre Pro Reader. It is not available for general purchase and it is only sold to doctors. So this patient uh, has uh, got this Freestyle Libre sensor and he has got this reader and with this he can check his glucose readings. So let's find out from him uh, how he has been doing over the last two weeks. Hi Mr. John, how are you doing? Yeah, fine sir. So, what was your experience with the Freestyle Libre uh, sensor? I can monitor always whenever it's going upstairs, upside down. So. Mm. And even more, even more by the, uh, the monitoring the system, I can see that my glucose levels are high. Mm. By that I can know what type of food I can be choosing for dinner, breakfast mm. or whatever it may be. Mm. So because of this reader, I can avoid a lot of foods where my glucose increases. Mm. And even more when it decreases, mm. I can come to know how it is being possible because it is a continuous monitoring mm. whenever at water, what, 24 into 7 mm. till 14 days. But mm. today is my 14th day, mm. where it is going to be expired in one hour. Mm. So I came away to replace the sensor. sensor. Is the sensor convenient for you? Yeah, of course. No, is it convenient? It is yeah, it is convenient for me. Is it irritating you or anything? No, nothing. So you are able to sleep during night yeah, without any disturbance? No, no disturbance. Nothing. And uh, you're able to shower, yeah. take a bath, yeah. and the sensor has not accidentally come off. No, it's still not. It has not been. So that's right. So I have told you how to be careful with it uh, so that you, when you remove okay. your clothes, like change your banyans or uh, vests every day, yeah. you should be careful so that it doesn't peel off. So you've been following that. Yes. So now today I'm going to again go through the process of applying the sensor for you because this is the first time you're using it. And I'm going to... Uh, stress upon the important points while applying the sensor. The sensor is guaranteed only when the sensor is applied to the arm. So I'm going to show what are the requirements for applying this sensor. So there is water in this mug. You have to clean that area with water. Ideally one should have a shower and then clean it with water and dry it. So that's the sensor, okay. This is the applicator. Is there anything else inside? Nothing, no. Just shows the container. So, uh, but this uh, pamphlet shows how to apply the sensor. This is a quick start guide. It explains how to apply the sensor. He's cleaning the area with uh, sterilium. And now the area is prepared. The previous sensor was applied to the left arm. When you have to apply sensors uh, on a regular basis, 
who need to monitor their blood glucose very regularly uh, then it is better to cycle the sensor from left arm uh, to the right arm as i as i mentioned before the sensor is guaranteed only when applied to the arm so the ideal position for applying the sensor is the back and the inner portion of the arm so i am going to show the exact area where it should be applied so this is the back of the arm and it should be applied on a flat surface it should not come to the side of the arm because if the sensor is here it will be protruding and it can it can be knocked away when one goes close to the door frame so it should not be here so at the back of the arm it is best apply to the back and the inside of the arm over here this is the best place for applying the sensor upper arm nowhere else so now we have removed the contents from this box and we put the box aside and talk about both these components here this is the applicator or plunger it has got a needle and the sensor is in this package so the first thing is to remove this applicator by turning the lid in a anti anti clockwise direction and you remove it and it comes out so this is the applicator it has got a handle and there is a needle inside that a tiny needle which is about 5 mm long and in this applicator there is a slot here you can see the slot so this slot i will explain i am going to keep the applicator here for the time being and open the contents of this box this is the container which has the actual sensor inside it i'm going to peel off the lid keep the plastic covering aside this is the sensor this is the back side of the sensor you will see the front side of the sensor after it has been applied to the skin so this area has got the mechanism for it to be loaded with the applicator so the way to load the sensor to the applicator is to identify two things the first thing is the slot on the applicator and the second thing is this black line on the sensor okay so now we know that there are two things they have to be aligned so i am taking the slot here keeping it in line with the black line and uh, plunging placing the sensor on a firm surface then pressing the plunger into the sensor compartment there is a spring action there wait for 3 seconds and remove the plunger now you can see the sensor has been loaded you can see the white portion of the sensor and there is a needle in the center it has been loaded onto the plunger now this is empty and we can set it aside and now we are ready to apply the sensor to the arm so have a look at the previous video this is a refresher and i am going to go through the process of applying the sensor to the arm once again so now i approach the patient we have already chosen the area remember it is the back of the arm a flat surface of the arm the applicator is positioned firmly over the skin and i am going to press the plunger 
firmly into the skin of the patient holding the arm so that he doesn't move the arm more towards the inside so on the count of one two three so I applied it wait for a few seconds and remove it now the sensor has been applied to the arm the plunger is empty we can set this plunger aside after applying the sensor you take a finger and run it along the edge of this sticky portion here to ensure that the sticky portion adheres or sticks to the skin gently press the sticky portion all around the sensor one can use a dressing or a transparent dressing tagadam dressing over it to protect it from water there are protective uh, sensor guards available online now that we have applied now that we have applied the sensor we are going to activate the new sensor so to do that we take this uh, freestyle libre reader and press this button here this is the on off button so when you press the on off button it shows check glucose or sensor now i am going to take the reader to this sensor to activate it so this is how you activate the sensor with this reader since he has got two sensors this reader is not able to read the new sensor so i am going to peel off this old sensor by gently removing the plastic all around now this old sensor has come off now you can take some antiseptic and apply it there now i am going to activate the new sensor so now it says so you can't read two sensors at the same time so it says now new sensor found scanning a new sensor will end the sensor you are currently using by scanning the new sensor by scanning the new sensor the function of the old sensor will end so you have to scan the new sensor and then only you will get the reading so before that so you have to take it take off the old sensor you can't use both sensors so it is better to apply it is uh, you have to apply the new sensor only when you remove the old sensor we saw that it can't read two sensors now we set the old sensor aside and uh, apply the reader to the sensor scanning uh, would you like to start the new one now so we are saying it says would you like to start the new one now so press yes start new sensor now we have got to again scan it to start the new sensor so the new sensor is starting up sensor can be used in 60 minutes okay so after 60 minutes he will start getting readings from the new sensor on this reader and he will be able to keep he will keep he will be able to keep a record of his glucose levels so after that we exit
and uh, then we can review the history go to the log book takes readings after it is activated it takes readings every 15 minutes so in an hour there are four 15 minute intervals and in a day there are 24 hours so 24 into 4 it takes 196 readings so you can use the sensor uh, every 15 minutes to get a reading but every after every 15 minutes you have to take it uh, place the reader over the sensor to get a reading in the next video i will explain of i will explain how to use the reader after it has been activated when you are using a sensor after everything has been done this is all medical waste reassemble everything so now the needle part is protected this cannot be reused so both these parts and the container you can retain the instructions put it back into the container and it should be disposed of as medical waste and that's it now i'm going to dispose this off because i am in my office i can dispose of this medical waste if you are uh, in your house then you should have a separate container for disposing of medical waste like tablet peels, covers and syringes and needles and all that. And that's it. So, uh, hope this video was informative. If you found this, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who may be diabetic. Subscribe to my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center. Remember that I am not a diabetologist. I just happened to treat this person because uh, he presented to me with back pain. And uh, one of the worst things which can happen for back pain or any nerve problem is that uh, diabetes is a complicating factor. And if one maintains, uh, one, one, uh, maintains control over diabetes, back pain will improve. So thereby, therefore I treated him. After I have applied the sensor, I have referred him to a diabetologist. I have given, a, the, he has got an appointment with the diabetologist tomorrow and he will be under the uh, guidance of a well-qualified diabetologist in Chennai. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.